Hello. Today I'm going to share something that can take you to the next level of your online business. Whether you're still thinking of developing one or you already have developed one. If you're happy where you are, you don't need to watch. But if you are anxious to get to your next level, you won't want to miss this. And we're starting right now. As an online entrepreneur means we keep learning. When we do, we discover where we fall short, strengths we need to develop, and habits we must let go. Becoming aware of the next level we want to achieve is the first step in working toward a positive change. Because until we become aware of a different place than we are, we remain the same. On our journey, sometimes we come upon someone's story that influences us in a powerful way. I'm going to share one such person's story with you today because it can change the way you look at things and your life. Not only is this person a great role model as a teacher, he also motivates us with his life experiences and how he has overcome major obstacles. Recently, my interest in writing eBooks to share valuable content with others led me to consider publishing Kindle eBooks. I was introduced to a man named Ty Cohen, who has successfully published hundreds of Kindle books over the past 10 years. He also teaches others how to do this. I joined his course and wanted to learn more about his expertise and philosophy, so I listened to some of his YouTube videos. One video in particular had so many important points for personal growth as an online entrepreneur that I knew I had to share it with you. You see, Ty Cohen is no average successful internet businessman. Having grown up in the projects around repeated deaths of young friends and family members with a three foot wide cement backyard, Ty has a perspective of success that pushes us beyond many of those limitations we may think that we have. Ty shares what everyone needs to hear at some point in their life. His direct, almost tough love approach leaves no room for excuses. If there was ever a reason for excuses to not succeed, Ty had them. Born with sickle cell anemia and not expected to live past 17, health conditions could have been his excuse to not be successful. Growing up in the hood, lacking the kind of role model he could look up to could have stopped his success. He didn't have access to YouTube, podcasts, and online mentors, but he did have the ability to listen to motivational speakers such as Jim Rohn and Les Brown over and over again, hundreds of times. This is key. And the first gold nugget I wanna share with you today is you must listen to and believe people that coach you and tell you you're capable of achieving your dreams. Listen to them until you really believe it. Motivational speakers such as Jim and Les and Tony Robbins and Dean Graziosi have been responsible for helping thousands of people believe in themselves. And that is the first step to success. If you don't have this core belief in yourself, you won't be able to push through when you want to give up. And you will want to give up at some point. Most entrepreneurs will tell you there were times when they wanted to quit but they didn't. They kept going. Their drive and dreams wouldn't let them give up. When they made a mistake, they were accountable for those mistakes. They didn't quit. Instead, they asked themselves, what could I have done better or differently? I've got to keep going and figure this out. I've got to crack the code. The second gold nugget. You don't need someone to show you the ropes and be present face to face in your life. Thinking you do is the furthest thing from the truth. Don't let this be an excuse and you don't have to pay $15,000 for a one-on-one -on -one session with your mentor. Not everyone can travel from Ireland to Florida to sleep on their mentor's couch for months as Caleb O'Dowd did with Gary Halbert, who was one of the greatest copywriters of his time. I've heard Caleb tell of his rare opportunity to learn directly from his mentor on a day-to-day -day basis. Most of us will never have this type of one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Choose a mentor who has paved the way for where you want to go. Learn from that person 
Search out all their social media, communications, YouTube, blogs, and Facebook. Enroll in their courses, attend conferences they are at, and meet them if possible. But this is not necessary to successfully learn from them. But if you do meet them at a conference, don't forget to take a picture of the two of you together. A number of successful online entrepreneurs who grew up in challenging environments experienced a paradigm shift of awareness and how other financially successful people lived. They realized they needed to get out of their environment to get what those other people had. Many of us have today similar thoughts when we see financially free entrepreneurs that we want to be like. We see their cars and houses, their quality of life that causes us to say, I want that. Then our mindset begins to shift to one of abundance rather than scarcity. The third gold nugget, you can have the desire to change your circumstances without knowing exactly how you're going to do it. Ty knew he had to get out of his environment, but he didn't know how he was going to do it. Ty admits that once he became aware of self-improvement and personal development, he had a paradigm shift that gave him the belief that he could do anything that anyone else could do. Do you believe that about yourself? Do you know beyond the shadow of a doubt that you can do anything that anyone else can do? Sometimes we get stuck with self-limiting beliefs before realizing our true potential and self-improvement activities help us to get there. Many books, eBooks, reports, YouTube videos, and podcasts are available to help us grow in any specific personal development area. What personal area do you need to develop? Believing you can accomplish your dreams or stretching your comfort zone to try new things? What about breaking free from the status quo to go from a job to an online business with passive income? How about procrastination, focus, learning new skills that will help you leave your current environment? What about determining what your passion is or working on positive self-concept, optimistic thinking, working out of your strengths. The list is always growing and even the most successful online business owners continue to work on self-improvement. We must desire to learn and change. It never stops. Regardless of your current circumstances, you must get in touch with the powers within yourself. You don't have to believe any self-limiting beliefs you've carried around for years. Maybe you were told you'll never amount to anything. You're terrible at English and you'll never be able to write anything. You are awful as an artist. We're told all kinds of things throughout the years by people who don't even know what we are capable of. How can they take one instance in our life at a certain time and, and make the prediction that we will never exceed in this area? Not even the best counselor or psychologist can make this kind of prediction because there's no match for the human will. Human drive and determination can accomplish anything we set our mind to. Once you begin to believe in yourself, your self-worth will change like it did for Ty. He calls this one of the biggest secrets to success. The fourth gold nugget, believe in yourself. You've heard the saying, you must believe before you can conceive. Once you believe in and value yourself, you are capable of seeing new possibilities for your life that you could not see in the past. I think this is why so many entrepreneurs say they are not the same person now as they were before. Successfully building an online business. Rather than shying away from new possibilities, they have the belief that they can conquer new challenges and goals. They walk toward new possibilities and embrace them rather than turn away from them. Hard work is also important, but hard work alone won't always make you successful. Some people have three jobs to make a comfortable life, but what is the quality of that life? There's very little time for relaxation and enjoyment. Online entrepreneurs know there's a better way that offers many different opportunities to earn passive income, which is income that is earned from setting up the original 
product and sales marketing and then requires occasional checkups to make sure everything is working properly while income continues to be generated from sales for weeks, months, or even years. We all have various life experiences that we could use as an excuse to not become successful. We need to avoid this trap at all costs because if there is one person doing what you want to do, then you can do it too with the right mindset and skill set. Working on your mind means believing you can achieve success, whatever that looks like for you. What is it you really want to master and get good at? Only you can decide that. Other people can tell you what has worked for them. Only you can decide what direction you want to go in. Find someone you admire that has already accomplished what you want for your life. Learn from them. Comment on their videos, blogs, and social media. Read everything you can that they share about their journey. Get to know their system and begin duplicating it. Remember, you don't have to meet the person live to have them as a mentor. Fifth gold nugget. Having a true unwavering belief and understanding of what's possible for you. Ty discussed a belief so strong that when you tell people what you want to accomplish for yourself, they may not believe you. People's reactions are so different. Some may think that you're crazy, proud, greedy, or self-centered. Be ready for responses you didn't expect. Your belief must be strong enough to carry you through other people's reactions. Remember, they probably haven't done the work of personal development to believe in your plans for accomplishment. They are back where you were before you began your journey of personal development and belief in your capabilities. Some people may be interested in learning how to start personal development from you. Others will not. Many people will stay with their opinions thinking you are different and they are the norm. Well, you are different in a good way. You have risen above a complacent everyday existence to experience a life filled with hope, challenge, reward, learning, growth, influence, and financial freedom. Sixth gold nugget. Ty talks about having a work ethic like nothing else. Never let an internet marketer lead you to believe their system requires very little work. Every successful person has put in the work to get to where they are. Some days of work hours are longer than others. Focusing some of your time and on your business every day is important, but the amount of time will vary, of course. There will be times when you immerse yourself in your business for many continuous hours, and other times when you can only spend minutes in one day. Having a desire to further your business and do something in it each day is key. Some people are working a full-time job with the desire to start an online business. This was Ty's experience. He knew his job as a manager at a franchise pharmacy was not going to change the quality of his life and get him to the next level where he desired and deserved to be. So he would leave his job and get on his computer at home trying to figure out the online world with trial and error and books from the library. This was before all the wonderful sources of information that we have available to us today. In his heart, Ty knew he wasn't going to be the type of person that worked at the same job for 20, 30, 40 years. There's nothing wrong with this. It just wasn't the path for him. Another warning Ty gives us the worst thing people can do is think they need to know each step by step in what they're going to do. He talks about the need to step out in faith. You just go out and you do it. Learn enough to take action, then make corrections as needed. For some of us who have spent years in jobs, we think we need a step-by-step -step process once we enter the online business world. Fundamental steps are helpful, but taking action on those steps and altering the course as a result of our actions is where the power lies. Learning from setbacks and failures is key to forward movement toward your ultimate goal. Very few entrepreneurs can even remember all their failures and what they did to learn and move beyond 
that circumstance. We will have our own failures and determine our own course of action each and every time. This is where each person's learning is unique. Many of our setbacks will be unique to us. The one commonality is that we each learn from that setback to move on and never give up. Many people have not and never will figure out the powerful course of action that comes with Number one, belief that you are capable of more. Number two, personal development to get there. Number three, faith to know you are on your destiny, your journey. And number four, a work ethic to learn the skills and then take action. People face significant challenges with their children, a spouse, illnesses, but you cannot make excuses if you truly want to change your circumstances and go to the next level. You must have a steady determination that your situation will change. Again, motivational speakers and personal development will help you through these times. Be willing to do something for your business every day. Time maintains if you look back and you have not done something every single day for your business, you don't want it bad enough. Have you thought about how bad you want to change in your life? Or would it just be nice? If it would just be nice to afford a vacation every year, you don't want it bad enough. What will you give up to get the extra time for your business? Sleep, watching TV, the news and movies, a hobby. It takes dedication to get to the next level. How dedicated are you? Do you think about ways to develop your business every single day? Seventh gold nugget, if you're working at the same level, as everyone around you, you don't want it hard enough. And things probably aren't going to be significantly different for you. If you aren't happy with just doing enough to get by, you need to work harder than the average person. Most of us have been led to believe that just being complacent is okay and saying you don't want more is normal. When did this become the accepted way of thinking? Why should we be considered unusual because we want more out of life. Why isn't it considered odd to not want to get to the next level, to not want more out of life? Part of the answer may lie in words our culture uses to describe entrepreneur. According to www.thesaurus.com, synonyms for entrepreneur are charlatan, daredevil, explorer, fortune hunter, gambler, globetrotter, and hero. Do these words really describe entrepreneur as we understand it today? Well, maybe the hero word does. We have followed a prescribed life of working for 30 years, then retiring and collecting a pension, maybe if we're lucky, and social security with some money put away in annuities. What's wrong with wanting a better life for our family? Why shouldn't they have access to better opportunities? A nicer car, nicer home, nicer neighborhood, better health care? They deserve this. Do you believe that it is totally acceptable to want more and in the process to give to causes you stand behind, maybe your church or charities or helping others in need? Ty also discusses the importance of consistency. He always has his computer with him. He's always posting valuable content for his audience, but also as a reminder to himself to stay on the path. We have so many opportunities to veer off the path. Let's agree that there are many different ways to build a successful online business. Once you choose your business building model, stay with it. Give yourself a chance to grow it. Ty talks about people who give their business one, two, or three months and think they should be as successful as people who have been working the same business model for 10 years. Stay focused and totally immersed for months to get where you want to go. There is a lot of growth mindset work to do and many skills to learn. Give yourself permission to lay a strong foundation for a business that will take you into your future years of financial freedom and a lifestyle you have earned and deserve. Many successful entrepreneurs I have met or have studied under have hit the 10 year mark with their businesses. Most of them have achieved multi-million level status at this point. Will that be you 10 years from now? Is that the desire for your life? Choose your final destination and work towards it. The sky's the limit. 
Ty warns us to be careful with our involvement and conversation with people around you who don't want it as bad as you do. You know you'll do whatever you have to in order to get that different place. They don't have the same strong feeling as you do. And yet, to be successful, you must have that strong determination that this will work out. I will achieve this. I will move on to the next level. Ty's final main point struck me as so true, and yet most of us don't think about it like Ty expressed it. Eighth gold nugget. The person that has thought in the way that you are thinking right now is only capable of getting you to the place that you are currently at. So you have to start to become someone totally different. Become the person that you need to be, that you would be if you were at the position that you want to be at. You have to do different things and do them differently to get somewhere else. You can't continue to do the same things all the same way and expect different results. You will begin adopting new traits, new routines, while believing you are transforming into that person that will take you to the next level. You are continuously growing. Your mindset through personal development, motivational speakers, meditation, and affirmations, and your skill set through courses, mentors, books, videos, and action. This course of action is totally different than taking a college course, buying the book, listening to lectures, taking tests, writing papers, and getting a grade where the curriculum and weekly course expectations are laid out for you. To be an entrepreneur, you must be your own teacher. You will need to be a self-starter to begin each day with specific goals to accomplish, to self-motivate when you experience setbacks, to be resourceful, to find answers when you get stuck, to take action without being told every move to make. Continuously be seeking answers to turn your business into a streamlined system. One of the main points is to never quit, learning and becoming. Maslow called it self-actualization, becoming and realizing all that you are capable of. It is at this point that you are the most fulfilled and are able to make the greatest contributions to the world. These gold nuggets are what Ty sees in really successful people that have made quantum leaps and sustained those leaps. People who sustain their achievements practice these things on a regular basis. They establish positive routines, habits, and rituals. Meditation can also help with beliefs in which you need every day. In conclusion, here are the gold nuggets that I found in Ty's video that can change your life if you will let it. Number one, you must listen to and believe people that coach you and tell you you are capable of achieving your dreams. Number two, you don't need someone to show you the ropes by physically being present in your life. Number three, you can have the desire to change your circumstances without knowing exactly how you're going to do it. Number four, believe in yourself. Number five, having a true unwavering belief and understanding of what's possible for you. Number six, having a worth work ethic like nothing else. Number seven, if you're working at the same level as everyone around you, you don't want it hard enough. And things probably aren't going to significantly change for you. Number eight, the person that has thought in the way that you are thinking right now is only capable of getting you to that place that you are currently at. These insights, if you believe them and adopt them, can change your life if you want to. If you feel your life is mediocre and you want more, start here. Read this information and find other knowledge and teachings that can help you begin the change that can help you take your life to the next level. I'm dedicating my blog to helping your personal development journey be rewarding and life-changing. Check it out if you'd like at www.drjlynn.com. You have the knowledge, you have the ability and resources. What are you waiting for? Nothing can hold you back if you want it badly enough. We hope to see you at the top. If you liked today's video, please click the like button and share with your friends. You can leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you and about your journey. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this coming out every week. Also in the description below, you can check out my number one recommendation for building an online 
affiliate marketing business today with all the education steps that you need. You'll also find a link to Ty's video and his YouTube channel for more information that may assist you. I appreciate you so much. Thanks for being here, wishing you a journey filled with insight, growth, and success. See you in the next video.